Listen very closely. To help you out, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Robo and crime boss Carmen San Diego. Listen. Hello. Carmen, it is I, Robo Crook. I am experiencing difficulty concealing the paws. They are prohibitively big. I fear that the three rookie units in that shabby detective office will soon apprehend me. Don't be so emotional. Head across the Gulf of Mexico to Galveston. It's in a big state. It has big oil wells and cattle ranchers who wear big hats. Everything's big. The paws won't be so conspicuous there. Travel orders acknowledged. Bye, Sparkles. Sparkles? <laughs> All right, name the state, gumshoes. Is it Texas, Mississippi, or New Mexico? One of the things we heard from the uh, phone conversation, Galveston, Big State, and Oil Wells. Looks like everybody's ready. Anna, we'll start with you. Greg, I pick Texas. Texas. Janelle? Greg, I pick Texas. Texas. Andrew? I pick Texas. The answer we're looking for, Texas. Ready to go, Gumshoes. Okay. You have 85 crime bucks, Janelle, you have 70, and Andrew, you have 90. Very close game still. Now, Robo Crook has intercepted one of our radio transmissions through his dental work, and he decided to leave Texas as soon as he got there. But we have a very special correspondent that has some more information. Sally? Hey, greetings, gumshoes. How are you? Sorry I can't deliver this clue to you in person. If I could, I would be sure to give each and every one of you a great big abrazo. Well, that's a handshake, or it's a hug, or it's a kiss. The traditional greeting in the country you're looking for. It's on the western coast of South America, and in the capital city of Santiago, you can always pick up something very nice at the ferias. Those are the markets that travel outdoors. Speaking of traveling, time for me to go. So, gusto te verte, that means very nice to see you. Don't you love her glasses? All right, gumshoes. Name the country. Is it Bolivia, Ecuador, or Chile? One of the things that we got from our special agent. Abrazo, traditional greeting, South America's western coast, and the capital is Santiago. Everybody's ready. Anna, we'll start with you. Greg, I pick Ecuador. Ecuador. Greg, Janelle. I pick Chile. Chile. Andrew. I pick Chile. The answer we're looking for is Chile. Nice job, Janelle. Anna, you have 85. Janelle, you have 80. Andrew, you have 100. Nice job, Gumshoes. That's the way to do it. Now, anytime you're short on information, like we are right now, remember this. It's good to try and check the files. Come on, let's check the files right over here. <laughs> nice nails. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Chief, look at this. It says, search the birthplace of El Libertador. That mean anything to you? Oh, of course it does, Greg. That means the liberator, oh. Simon Bolivar. Oh, yeah, he led South America's fight for independence. And uh, you know that the uh, residents of this city proudly claim him as a native son. Gumshoes. I remember a case I worked a while back there. I tracked a crook through the Avila National Park. It was amazing. There were jaguars and pumas and jungle-clad slopes right near this major metropolis. And I finally tracked him down and caught him in El Silencio. That's the modern center of the city. I love that name, El Silencio. <laughs> Something I'd like to get around here, Greg. Yes, ma'am. All right, Gumshoes, name the city. Is it Caracas, Guayaquil, or Cayenne? Remember the clues that we heard. Simon Bolivar, Avila National Park, and El Silencio. Anna, we'll start with you. What do you say? Greg, I pick Caracas. Caracas. Janelle? Greg, I pick Caracas. Caracas. Andrew? I pick Caracas. Yes, we're looking for Caracas. Nice job, Gumshoes. Okay. It is now time for the final clue of this round. So, Anna, you have 95. Janelle, you have 90. Andrew, you have 110. Now it's time for you to decide how much you want to risk. Uh, if you risk and you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll take it away from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Now, take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Robo is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know quite so much, you may not want to risk quite so much. So take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, and all the
the decisions are made. Nice job, Gumshoes. Now, it looks like this is where the trail ends for us here. So we're going to have to go ahead and try to pick up whatever information we... Will you we... knock it off down there? Oh, no. That's our upstairs neighbor, Mrs. Pumpkin Clanger. I'm sick and tired of your boys. He's here. He's there. We found him. We lost him. Can't you put a lid on it? He's in the homeland of the great Flemish artists. In fact, he's probably racing pigeons there right now, in that city where NATO is headquartered. Now, quit making such a racket and go find the creep. I mean it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I really think she has a crush on me. <laughs> All right, gumshoes, name the city. Is it Brussels? Rotterdam or Amsterdam? Remember the clues that we heard from Mrs. Pumpkin Clanger? Flemish artist's homeland, racing pigeons, and NATO headquarters. Janelle, you have 90 Acme Crime Bucks. We're going to start with you. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 10 Crime Bucks. You risked 10. That means if you get this right, you'll go up to 100 Crime Bucks. What did you say? I said Amsterdam. Amsterdam. I'm sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Tough break. You'll go down 10 that way. Anna, you have 95. Before you show me what your answer was, how much did you risk? Greg, I risked 10 crime bucks. 10 crime bucks, okay. Let's find out, do you have the right answer? I picked Brussels. That's exactly the answer we're looking for. Nice job, Anna. You'll go up 10 to 105. Andrew, you have 110. It looks like you're in the lead anyway, but let's find out first off, how much did you risk? Uh, Greg, I risked 40 crime risk bucks. 40? That means if you're wrong, you could be in some trouble here. Did you have the right answer? Uh, I chose Brussels. Good job, Andrew. That means Andrew and Anna, you're going on to the next round. Congratulations. You know, you're a great detective. You did some great stuff today. Thank you so much for helping us on the case. We put together something that's going to help you in your next case. It's the Acme Travel Kit. Chief? Yes, it's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit. And it includes a World Traveler's Almanac, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, and a subscription to National Geographic's World Magazine. And John L., we thank you for all your good work on this case. I salute you. All right, thanks a lot, Chief. Andrew and Anna, now it's time for you to move on to Brussels, Brussels, Belgium, where you're going to try to track down a robo-crook. What you have to do is find him and bring him back. But I want you to know we don't send out our agents unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? All right, dumb shoes. Belgium, population around 10 million. Three official languages, French, Dutch, and German. They're known for, oh, diamond cutting, chocolate, and lace. Now, more about lace later. First... The boys down at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides to show you. First, Brussels, the Grand Place. Some people call it the most beautiful square in the world. I call it a likely place to hide the Sphinx paws. Now, Atomium, Atomium. Now, Robo will probably want to see this 310-foot atom before he splits. Then he'll probably aim for Nanakan Peace and vice versa. Now, this will make you smile no matter what mood you're in, and the Belgians think that this statue is number one. That brings us to Waterloo. Napoleon lost there and was defeated in 1815, and the spot is commemorated by Lion Mound Memorial. And finally, lace, like I told you. Belgium is famous for it. You know, that reminds me of my uncle Mervyn. He was a lace maker. A lace maker with a dream to make the world's first all-laced football field. Now, he worked on it for seven years, and when he was finally finished, no one would play on it. And what did he have to show for all that hard work? A hundred yards of doily, not including the end zone. Well, gumshoes, Robo and the Paws are in Belgium. Go get them.